Scientists at a Florida lab could feel something big inside this dead 18-foot Burmese python, so they cut it open. A necropsy, it's called. Well, I actually thought it was pretty gross, too, and I'm used to necropsies and things. But... Rosie Moore was one of the scientists investigating the snake's diet, and look what was on the python's menu, a five-foot dead but still fairly intact alligator. Did it smell terrible? Oh my gosh, we were taking breaks. We were running outside trying to get some fresh air. Like, I've never smelt anything like that. As one commenter joked, congratulations, your python is pregnant with an alligator. Florida encourages people to kill Burmese pythons because they eat so many other species and reproduce rapidly. You actually call it a python invasion? Yeah, it's, it's commonly referred to as the python invasion. The alligator inside the python video on Rosie's Instagram page went viral, and the photos of the scientists looking like a Bond girl in a bikini probably didn't hurt viewership. She models part-time and likes the idea of changing the image of female scientists. Women in science are always kind of portrayed as like the dorky, nerdy, shy. Not this woman in science. She dives into her job with passion. The alligator and the snake taught Rosie a new word. It was compared to a turducken? Yes, I saw. I had to look that up. Someone suggested, should have just cooked the whole thing. Would have been some kind of creepy Cajun version of a turducken. This is the tur, this is the duck, and this is the in. Turkey stuffed with duck and chicken, turducken. So maybe we'll just call this a pie gator thon. Not that it's making anyone hungry. Genie Mouse, CNN, New York.